In this video, I'm going to take a look at the best trips tight end defense in Madden 22. I'm going to break it down exactly why it's so good, how it could stop some of the most popular concepts that trips tight end has for you, and I think you're really going to enjoy this breakdown. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. I also wanted to let you know that I do have, uh, today we're talking about the 245 odd, and this is found in the Chicago Bears defensive playbook. And uh, I have a full 245 odd defensive guide that you can pick up at the Patreon. So if you've not joined the Patreon yet, it is 10 bucks a month. For just 10 bucks a month, you're going to get unlimited access to every ebook that I've already released and every ebook that I will release in the Madden 22 season. So far, we've already released 11 ebooks, four deep, uh, offensive guides, and seven defensive guides. Defense is really hard this year, and so I've tried to really hone in and put a ton of work into my defense and teaching defense and so um, I think that's been very helpful to a lot of people so if you want to learn the entire two four five odd defensive guide again be sure to join the patreon there's a link in the description below you can join the patreon for just 10 bucks a month and you can cancel whenever you want but we've got ebooks a ton of more uh, defensive guides that we're planning to release this year a lot of good stuff so uh, again if you want to get access to all that there's a link in the description to the patreon um, it's just basically a one-stop shop uh, for everything that you need for the Madden season. So really excited to, that we've launched that this year. And in this video, like I said, we're talking specifically about trip side in defense. So the, the coverage that we're going to be talking about today is my favorite coverage in Madden. And it took me a long time to get there. I was a quarters, palms, uh, maybe cover three buzz, right? But, but I really, really like the cover six. And if you think through the lens of what the cover four palms and quarters struggles with. The beauty of cover six is it gives you the ability to basically struggle with the same basic things, but cover six gives you the user that you need to be able to kind of solve that problem. So uh, let's just talk about cover six. Um, I don't set any zone drops or anything. You need to not have zone drops on because it's a match defense and it's a very good match defense. So. Uh, cover six, how it's going to work, what we're going to do um, in terms of our setup. I like to press, and then really quickly, I'm going to manually back off the trip side guy. The reason I want to do that is because this is going to significantly help us in run defense and things like that, but I don't want to have a press line alignment on the left side because that's going to turn into a one-play touchdown, especially if you're playing somebody, um, you know, like a spam and buttons, probably my – most he's the number one player this year, in my opinion. Um, he has really done a great job of, of, of running this offense. I think he's one of the only people in competitive Madden that is running trips. And he is, I mean, he's probably the toughest player to play in competitive Madden, in my opinion. Uh, so anyways, we're going to press coverage. We're going to, but if you, if you were to press and leave that press alignment on that left side, he'd score a touchdown every time. Um, he's got great reads, great routes uh, to be able to do that. So uh, I like to go ahead and back that off. Then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to spread our line, and then we're going to take this linebacker, and we're going to move him right here, okay, right here. Now, this is going to allow us to blitz this. If we want to blitz, we can blitz this linebacker, and then we can have a nice five-man pressure. This is pretty good pressure stock, to be honest with you. There's really not a lot we want to need to do. Um, now, when we were in the world of delay fades and delay fades were a big struggle, I like to take this guy right here and man him up on the tight end if you want to rush three. So you could basically crash your line out and then you could man this guy up at the tight end and basically rush three and it would be fine. Now, I because delay fades really aren't that big of a deal, um, there's a lot that we can do with this linebacker. This guy's kind of a, This guy is kind of a free player that you could do whatever you want with. Um, the other cool part about this is in certain packages, you could actually, he can be cross manned and things like that, which we show you how to do that in the ebook. For the purpose of this video right now, we're just going to drop him into a vertical hook. Um, but you could drop him in anything, honestly. Um, I like to just drop him into a vertical hook or just man him up on the tight end. Either one of those two will be fine. Uh, or just blitz him. You don't have to, you don't have to drop him either. Okay. So we could do that. Uh, we could also, if we wanted to, we could crash our lineup. I'm not going to get too far in the weeds on this, but I like the basics of this three down lineman rush. I like to also QB contain. So this is my base rush, and then I'm going to use her with this guy. 
okay? And I can shoot the run. Just basically, I'm going to stand here. If he runs, I'm going to shoot through. But then also, we're going to kind of start with one of the most popular uh, route combinations out of trips tight end, which is PA counter go. I love to pass them in out of this. Uh, but basically, if we see a crosser from left to right, that's our responsibility. So like a deep crosser, deep post, any of that stuff, we take that as a user. So we're going to bail and then come back into this. And what you'll see is we're able to really take that away. As you can see, that's PA counter go. That's probably you know one of the number one plays from trips tight end for years. And this defense basically takes it away. And I'll show you it one more time here. And I'm not going to use her anybody just for the purpose of the video. Um, so I'm just going to leave this as is. Um, the biggest difference is I'm going to uh, put my user here into a middle read. And then I'm going to put this guy into a vertical hook. And I just want you to watch how this is going to play. So you see, that's pretty much what the coverage we've created looks like. And uh, PA counter go. And we just watch what happens. You're going to see this crosser gets matched really well across the formation and basically taken away. So that's PA counter go. That's one example. Now, for the sake of time, I'm not going to show every concept that people can do from trip side in, uh, but I am going to show you two more. Okay, two more concepts. So the second concept is one that I think is really hard to guard, um, and it's basically this right here. It's a spaceship concept. I personally love to run this play. Um, I know Spamman loves to run this play. It's a really, really good concept. Um, I think he was the one that might have invented it. I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, the bottom line is we're going to do our adjustments here. So you see here, you know, mid-read is just to kind of mimic my user. But I want you to watch how this defense plays it. And what you'll see is this does a really good job of taking that away. It takes them. It really matches the tight end really, really well which the tight end is the route that's really, in my opinion, very difficult to stop. So if we jump in into replay, you're gonna see here, your streak is matched, so it's covered, you've got the flat taken away, and then come back over here. If you look at that slant, you see that it's running into this right here, and I can user that slant, because I know that my coverage is gonna take that away. Obviously, this will be my user, so my user doesn't need to go there, he can go right down there and, and user that appropriately. So. We've got that major, major concept taken away. And then the, the, the next one that I want to go over is kind of like a traditional flood concept. So something looks like this kind of. Um, and again, cover six, we're going to press, manually back that guy off, spread our line, crash our line out, QB contain, drop this guy in a vert hook. And then we're going to use her. Um, whoops, I'm sorry, I messed up. Um, we're going to bring this guy down like so, and then we're going to use with this guy, and just to imitate that, I'm just going to put him in a mid-read, okay? And now what you're going to see is your traditional flood concept. You're going to get pretty strong match there, and I, I don't really get a lot of interceptions, but I get a lot of swats on that, okay? I get a lot of swats on that. I will say that's the, that, that standard flood from trips is probably the best way to me to defend this or to attack uh, this kind of approach to defense. So something like what I'm about to show you here, uh, I know this is a concept, I know that Spam and loves this concept uh, when people like to run match. And again though, remember, we are completely free with our user here. So we can come over here and help, but just for sake of the video, I wanna show you kind of what the vulnerability is. So we don't have to worry too much about the right, it's really this flood right here, this corner route. And you'll see here, it gets matched really well but I'm still able to kind of fit that in. So that's just something to kind of watch out for um, To as far as like trips tight end goes. One thing that you can do um, if you are uh, worried about that is you could bring this guy down and then you could man him up onto circle just like this and then you could actually bluff blitz uh, Nelson here and then now you've basically got a three-man rush coming off this right side, which is going to make it really hard for them to be able to roll out of the pocket. And then now you have this. So now if you try to go to that that um, that flooding combination, now you've got it press band up. You've got crazy pressure from the 245 odd. And then you've also got man coverage. And I will tell you, man coverage it does not get very open if you man that up. So that's a really good way, in my opinion, to defend trips tight end. Uh, is to utilize this cover six. And, you know, main things you're wanting to watch out for is the tight end post 
and then also the the deep corner or deep crosser from that slot. If you can cover those two, everything else is going to be bagged. A lot of the one play touchdowns that are really effective at a trips tight end, they're not as effective whenever you use this cover six coverage. And so, you know, again, I, I don't have a time to talk fully about this, but if you want to learn the rest about this coverage, you want to learn the rest of this defense. Um, I would really encourage you to join my Patreon. My Patreon is just 10 bucks a month. You can cancel it whenever you would like to, and it gets you instant access to every ebook that I've already released, which is 11. 245 odd happens to be one of them, and I've got more defenses on the way. We actually have a, a full defensive guide that is devoted to teaching the coverages, teaching the match coverages, and what they do and why they do what they do. So if you want to learn all of that stuff, I would really encourage you to join the Patreon. Again, it's 10 bucks a month, and uh, you can cancel whatever you'd like. So if you want to join the Patreon, head on down to the description below. There's a link right there. You just click that link. It'll take you right over, and you can get started with this 245-odd scheme. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you guys over at the Patreon.